Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bedroom. I am currently sitting at my vanity where I get ready every single morning and I thought it would be fun today to show you guys a vanity tour and also share with you guys my makeup collection. Right before I had my baby, I wanted to clean out everything in my house, every single room in my house, that is what they call nesting, and I was in major nesting mode. So I wanted to go through my entire vanity, go through all the drawers in it, and just get rid of things that I no longer needed. So now my vanity is so organized and it makes me so happy, and everything that's in my drawers is stuff that I use on a daily basis. So I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you are wanting to go through your makeup collection and if you just want some organization tips, or if you're just interested in seeing all of my favorites in my makeup collection. Yes, I am filming this with my iPhone. My vlog camera is not working right now, so this is just gonna have to do. But the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is this amazing mirror that I have at my vanity. This is by the brand Impressions, and I bought this, I think it was three years ago, and it's still going strong. I've never had to even replace a bulb. I love it so much. It helps me see my makeup so much better when I'm doing it, and then it has has a little adjuster on the side so you can make it brighter or you can dim it all the way down. So I normally like to have it not all the way up but pretty much all the way up. It just makes it so much easier to see everything I'm doing. So if you are a makeup lover like me, I highly, highly suggest getting a mirror like this. I know that they have so many of these now. These used to be a little harder to come by, but I think you can just get these on Amazon now. So that is the first thing that I wanted to show you guys on my vanity. Now I wanna show you guys my entire vanity. The actual table is from Ikea, so these are drawers on either side, and then this is just a tabletop that you place on top, so it's not like one full piece of a desk. They are three separate pieces, but this has just worked out so well for me, and I purchased this, I think it was three years ago. I bought it the same time that I bought the mirror when I was putting my entire vanity together, and it has just served me so well, and then I have this acrylic chair, which I love, so it's fun to put a little faux fur throw on it and then just add a pillow. The pillow is from, I think it's from Home Goods. So now I'm gonna show you what is on top of my vanity and then we will go inside my drawers and I will show you guys my makeup collection. Over here I have a little tray. That's where I keep all of my rings and just dainty earrings and small things that I wear on a daily basis. And then over here is where I store my makeup brushes. And I bought these containers from Amazon. They come with the little crystals that you can pour inside. I love these. These are like the perfect storage containers for makeup brushes. So I have one for all my face brushes and then this one is for all my eye brushes. And it just helps me be able to see everything and they stand up so well. So I highly recommend that if you guys are looking for something to organize your makeup brushes. And as always, I will link everything that I have links for in the description box down below. Now on the other side of my vanity, I have my small mirror. That is really good for doing detail work. So I always do my eye makeup in this mirror just so I can see really close and see what I'm doing. And then in here I have just all of my daily necessities like my perfumes, my deodorant, my favorite body oil that I talked about in a video. So these are just all of my favorite perfumes. I've talked about this one before, the Brazilian Crush Body Spray. This is my Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body spray. Let's see, I have a couple like travel perfumes in here, some nail polish, some more rings back there. I love this Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt perfume. This one smells so good. I actually kind of like wearing this one more in the fall and winter time. And then this is probably my all-time favorite perfume. This is the YSL Black Opium. I'm literally out of it. I need to get another one, but this smells so good. This is like my signature scent. Now let's get into the good stuff. I am going to show you inside my drawers and share with you my makeup collection. So this is definitely my most used drawer. And I personally love the way that it's organized. So I have all of my primers right here in this little container. And then in here I have all of my concealers. Tarte Shape Tape is my favorite. I wear it in the color light. 
I have all of these are in the color light. I just go through them so fast. I have so many. And then someone asked me to share my favorite foundations. So instead of doing a dedicated video to that, I thought I would just share with you guys right now. So my favorite, favorite foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I wear it in shade five. And then I also love the Too Faced Born This Way and then the Dior Skin Forever. Those are definitely my top three favorites. I used to love this one. I don't wear it as much anymore, but this is a really good stick foundation if that is your thing. And then I also have just a couple lightweight foundations, this Naked Skin One and Done. And then I also have this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Butter CC Cream. So I just like those on light makeup days. I highly recommend both of those. But on a day when I'm doing like full face makeup, I will normally go in with this foundation. I usually mix these two. So those are my foundations and concealers. Then over here, I have all of my powders. The Charlotte Tilbury powder is my favorite. This is the Airbrush, what is it called? The Airbrush Flawless Finish. I wear it in shade one. That is what I put underneath my eyes and I set my face with that. This Hourglass powder is amazing. I use that for baking and just highlighting my face. And then I have my Becca. These are my under eye brighteners. I cannot live without them. I have it in the light to medium shade, which is the one I wear mostly. But when I have more of a darker tan, I will use the medium to deep shade. And then I just have a little Becca concealer right here. And that is just to cover any blemishes. And then over in this area, I have all of my setting sprays. Can you tell that I love the Morphe setting spray? I have three of those. And then this Caudalie Beauty Elixir is my favorite face spray ever. I literally have like none left. I just ordered a new one. And then I just have a redness reducing primer over here. I needed this so much when I was pregnant. I just had like such red skin around my nose and on my face, so this helped so much. I don't really have that problem anymore, so I don't really need to use that, but that really helps if you guys have any redness issues. And then all of my beauty blenders are back here and just some miscellaneous things like a little beauty blender cleaner, oil sheets. So this is my top drawer. This is all for my face. And then the next drawer, is my bronzers and my blushes and palettes. You guys have heard me talk about this palette a lot. So this has bronzers, blushes, highlighters, everything I would need, I keep this palette in here. And then I just have some contour and highlight palettes in here. This is a Morphe blush palette. I have a NARS blush palette. I have, I'll move this out of here so you guys can see a little bit better. I have a big Marc Jacobs bronzer and then I keep all of my blushes in here and my highlighters in there and I have lots of bronzers that I like to use. I love Bobbi Brown and I always talk about the butter bronzer and then I also love this Too Faced. I think this is... Yeah, the Chocolate Soleil. This is a really, really good one too. So this is just where I keep my other face products, specifically the bronzers, the highlighters, and the blushes. And that just helps me keep super organized. And now moving along to the other side of my drawers, I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes in here, my eyebrow products, my eyeliners, everything like that is over here. So in here, I keep my eyebrow pencils and my eyebrow gel. This is the best the clear brow gel and just my liquid eyeliners. I have a little pencil brush and a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow that sometimes I fill my brows in with that. So all of those are just easy to grab. And then in here, I have an eyelash curler. I have little lash brushes to brush through my lash extensions. I have a couple of my favorite mascaras, tweezers. I have a fan in here. I know that seems a little extra, but after I do my setting spray, I love to fan my face off and let it dry that way. I think it just works so well. And then here are my go-to eyeshadow palettes. And like I said, I got rid of a ton, a ton of makeup. So I just have stuff that I use on a daily basis. I love this Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. It has such gorgeous shimmery shades in here. So four beautiful shades. I love this one. And then the Too Faced Chocolate Bar is another one of my favorites. It's beautiful. I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette a lot. 
And then a while back, I made my own Z palette just with a couple Bobbi Brown shades and Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows. So I keep that in there. And then if you can see under there, I just have my big Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't use that one a ton, but I do still use some colors in there. So I keep that. And then I love this little caviar stick by Laura Mercier. I grab this all the time. And then this Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. This is like a cream shadow in the color Mary Antoinette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow products ever. So that is what is in this drawer. And then last but not least, this is the drawer where I keep all my lip products and just some miscellaneous things and also some hair products. So right in here, I have all of my hair lip glosses and lipsticks that I use on a daily basis. I have all of my favorite lip liners and a lip sharpener pencil there. And then I also have all of my little tinkle razors. I do self dermaplaning, so I do it at home. I do it myself. I get those on Amazon in a huge pack. So I love those. If you guys don't know what dermaplaning is, make sure you look that up. It's amazing. If you ever want a tutorial on it, let me know and I can show you how I do it. And then let's see, I just have some hair clips. These are dry bar hair clips. I have my pearl clips that I love in here. I just have a hair scrunchie and little hair ties, a comb. I have these little, um, what are these called? Just elastics for my hair, which I really like these. If I'm doing like a fun little updo, I will use those. A teasing brush is a must have for me. And then you guys know my obsession with NYX butter glosses. So these have their own little compartment in here. And then I literally have so many Burt's Bees. I feel like every year for Christmas, everybody in my family puts Burt's Bees in my stocking. So I have so many of those and then just a few favorite lip moisturizers in there. You guys might have been expecting to see more, but that is all that I have. And I am so happy about that. I really eliminated things that I didn't need in my makeup collection. So I just have those four drawers full. All of the other drawers in my vanity are empty and that just makes me happy. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel so much less cluttered than I used to be just having drawers full of stuff that I don't need. So that completes the tour of my vanity and my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you are wondering, all of the organizational bins inside my drawers are all from the container store. So if you go into your local container store or if you shop online, you will be able to find the exact organization bins that I bought for my vanity. And let me tell you, I love them. They they work so well and they fit my makeup so perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed more of this vlog style video. I got so many requests on Instagram to do more vlogs and real life stuff. So that is what I'm trying to give you guys. I wanted to show you guys a peek inside of my bedroom and inside my vanity. And I have lots more vlogs planned coming up. So if you have any special requests of what you guys like to see in vlogs, please leave those down below in a comment that will help me so much. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video from me. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.